We're in a world that um, technology is improving every day, new things are coming in every day, so you need to be innovative. Whatever you're doing, do it better. Don't just be stuck up on, okay, this is how they used to do it 10 years ago. What they do 10 years ago is different from what is being done now, so be innovative, do it better. Um, then learn to treat people right, yes. This actually plays about um, emotional intelligence. I feel that people spend more based on how they feel. So the way you make a customer feel is the way they will spend more on your business. They learn to always treat people right. My name is Mrs. Kike Lomo, in Kostala Deniji. I'm the CEO of Ice Place Millennial Concept. It's actually a company, um, a factory, where we produce ice cubes and we sell. Um, a typical day for me, um, I have two kids, so in the morning, I try to dress up my kids for school, that's during school days, because I like that that's the time we bond as a family. We pray together and um, be just. So after dressing up, we go to, I drop them in school, I come back home, I try to map out okay, what I'm supposed to do for today, get dressed, head to work. When I get to the factory, um, our busiest day starts from Thursdays down to the weekend. But so from Mondays to Wednesdays, when I get to the factory, I meet up with my head of operations, I ask, okay, how many stacks of ice do we have in the cold room? How many productions do you guys do? Then we have meetings, we have some targets that we set every week, the places that we're supposed to go for marketing. Did you do this? I get feedback from them. While doing all this, um, I'm still working on my phone because my phone is my mobile office. I'm always picking up calls and um, um, responding to messages from customers. So while doing all that, I'm still on my phone. I'm receiving calls or responding to messages. After everything, if we have deliveries to do, we map out the deliveries, okay, this is what we're going to do, um, which routes to take for traffic. After the delivery, and I say that, okay, everything is okay in the factory, then I head back home. When I get home, I have to do homework with my kids. Then seven o'clock, I head to the gym, so do like one hour, 30 minutes workout. I'm back at nine o'clock, take a shower, and I continue my mobile office on my phone till I sleep off. Um, I, there's something I tell everybody that I think every business has the potential to make it in this country. But then, for you to um, thrive and from the lessons I've had, I think one, you need to offer more value to your customers. It means that you need to give your customers something extra than what your competitors are giving. That way, they, they are more appreciative of you and they stick to you. Also, consistency. I believe that every business Whatever brand you're pushing out there, you need to be consistent. Let people know that, okay, this is what you're doing, this is what you're known for. Don't show up today and tomorrow you're not there. The next day you show up, two days later you show up with something different. Pick something and be consistent about it. Then sacrifice, yes. You need to um, learn to give extra time, to sacrifice extra time, money, and other resources that will enable your business to thrive. So for example, um, my husband used to say something that for you to make money, you need to spend money. And in the course of um, running this business, I learned that I won't just sit at home and expect customers to come and purchase ice for me. So I need to spend more money on marketing, advertising, and PR. Wow. Hmm. How did COVID-19 affect my business? Okay. Well, we started... Um, this business plan and the idea of the business actually um, early 2019 that was before COVID came and um, we ordered the machine so the agreement was that ordering the machine when the machine gets here we're going to um, they will send a specialist to come in and assemble the machine do a test run and show us how it works because this is actually um, the first machine in Lagos it's actually a 15 ton machine and um, it's um, it's a cylindrical machine so it's different from the normal ice cube the um, square one that you see outside there. So we needed a technician from over there to come and set it up for us. And then we ordered the machine. The machine was supposed to come early 2020 and boom, COVID happened. The machine was here, but there was nobody to install. It was a big challenge because 
I and my team, I think it took us five months to figure it out ourselves. Going back and forth, try to do this, do that, video calls, and it was tough. But we were able to pull through, and I'm happy. I think it was a learning curve for us because it had actually set us up as a pioneer for the, um, the company here in Lagos. So if you want to get this type of machine that we have, we actually the middleman. You have to go through us here before you be able to order it. How do I feel when we completed delivery? Wow, I feel so happy. Not just because we've delivered ice, but because I know that wherever we are delivering that ice to, they're taking edible ice, like I say. It's, it's just very simple. When you think of ice fish, you think that they are supplying you edible, safe consumption ice cubes. So I feel very happy. I feel satisfied that yes, we delivered on time. Especially when we deliver on time. And there are some event planners that will be like, oh, well, thank you so much. You delivered on time. I don't have to start worrying about eyes and that is off the stress. So I feel very happy.